December 21st, 2012, Greg was at Cortez on what was shaping up to be a historic day. The entire day there were only like one, two wave sets. You know, I saw this one coming, I turned, put my head down, and I went for it. It was, at that point, the biggest set of the day. I'd lined up the second one in what I felt to be, you know, in a perfect spot. It was really bumpy. I remember getting my feet and the only thing that I could focus on was, you know, what was happening right in front of me, dealing with all the bumps. And next thing I know, when I get down to the bottom, I'm kind of bumping rails with Garrett. We ended up way too deep. White water comes from behind me. Just literally like a ton of bricks being dumped on my back. Pushed, you know, straight down, super deep, real violent. Knocks all the wind out of me, and I literally feel like my body's been, you know, torn in, in two pieces. And you have that initial impact of, you know, all the air being pulled from your lungs, and naturally they just want to reinflate, so you're gasping to take that breath, but I'm you know, 30 feet below the surface, and I know that, you know, there's no way that I can't, you know, that if you do that, your lungs are gonna flood, and that's, you know, that's the end of it. And that one held me down so long that I didn't even get a chance to swim for the surface before I heard and felt the third wave walk over me. DK Walsh came in, saw where my board was floating, and you know my body was still attached to it, thankfully. He dove right on me, got my head up out of water, pulled my lifeless body up onto the sled. I remember laying there on the deck of this boat, just completely immobilized, completely helpless, seeing the lights coming down from this helicopter, and, and just being hoisted up from the deck of the boat into darkness, into the air. You know, I died that day. The consequences of your actions, you know, and all the reason, you know, of like how and why are you doing this, it's just shoved in your face. And there's so much that I love in, in this world, you know, outside of surfing that, you know, I question, you know, is it really worth taking that, that risk and just keep doing it? Meeting up with the rescue boat, Greg has arrived at the spot that almost killed him and has haunted him for the past two years. Rescue, same thing. Frank, photographer, second uh, rescue, Ryan's first. So thank you guys, love you all for being here. Appreciate it, let's go surf. So as I'm getting closer to the lineup, I sit and take a moment to myself and all the memories of the trip prior just come rushing back into my head. But I'd come this far and I knew that I, I had to absolutely paddle over there. I had to paddle over and catch a wave. It was the last thing I did. Last time I was out here, I you know, was moments away from losing my life. One of the heaviest experiences I've ever you know, dealt with. You know, just, you know, just knowing how close I'd just come to, to drowning and thinking about you know, friends and family and you know, why you're actually you know, doing this and pushing yourself so hard. and you know, All that came back into you know, um, the forefront of my mind when I was out there you know, sitting there by myself today of what I'm capable of and at the same time enjoying you know, that gliding feeling of riding the wave and harnessing Mother Nature's energy. And that was, um, yeah, I mean, this session epitomized everything I love about surfing and, and why I ride big waves.